You love the taste of a delicious wedding cake? Well, how about wedding cake sandwich cookies? I'm Brian Hart Hoffman, the Editor-in-Chief of Bake From Scratch, and today I'm sharing a recipe with you that is so personal because I created it to celebrate my own wedding. I was asked by Jesse Shevchuk to create a recipe for the Tasty Pride Cookbook. And in that recipe creation, I had to dig deep and think about what would I share as a celebration of my pride, my identity, and being a part of the LGBTQ community. So I created a sandwich cookie that tastes like a wedding cake so that I would always remember that privilege and exciting moment when I got to have a wedding of my own. You're gonna love this recipe. The texture is unique, the flavor is amazing, and I can't wait to share it with you. Let's get started. I'll get things started by placing my butter and granulated sugar in the bowl of the stand mixer. And I'm just gonna start by getting these creamed together and nice and fluffy. And while my butter and sugar are creaming, it's a perfect time to get the dry ingredients combined. It looks like there's a lot, but all of these make for a really great cookie. And you're gonna love the way it tastes, but you're also gonna love the texture because I'm using a combination of all-purpose flour and bread flour. The bread flour gives us a really good texture and chew. And then I'm adding one more ingredient you might not expect, cream of tartar, in addition to baking powder, baking soda, and salt. A friend to every recipe, such good flavor. And I'm just gonna whisk these together. And you are gonna notice that this cream of tartar also gives you a really nice texture for the cookie. And then when we roll it in sugar at the end, it's gonna get a little bit of that whole snickerdoodle vibe because that's also an ingredient in snickerdoodles. But I wanted it in this cookie for the texture. The butter and sugar are creamed together. It's nice and fluffy. So now we're gonna add our eggs one at a time and get each one combined before adding the next. Now that the eggs are in, let's talk flavor. You can't have a wedding cake cookie without that distinct wedding cake flavor, and it comes from almond extract. So that's gonna hit the bowl along with some vanilla bean paste because I absolutely love the little flecks of vanilla. I love the flavor, but if you don't have vanilla bean paste, you can use vanilla extract and that's gonna be just fine. Now, I'm gonna make sure that's properly combined. Take the mixer down to a low speed, and then I'm gonna gradually add all of my dry ingredients. And I'll stop and scrape the bowl along the way too, just before get to the end of the mixing process. After all the dry ingredients are in, you'll notice the dough is really thick, so I'm gonna add two tablespoons of milk, and then we're gonna finish it off with a quick mix of our sprinkles. Now this is what makes these cookies so fun. Before I get those in though, I do wanna show you the brand of sprinkles I'm using because they really make a difference. These are the Betty Crocker sprinkles labeled with the rainbow. So it's the rainbow sprinkles from Betty Crocker. And they're not paying me to say this, but I just think you need to know about them because they don't bleed into the cookies. So you still get those bits and the color of the, the sprinkles that you've added, which is what we want. So let's go ahead and get these in. And just let them combine into that dough. And then turn off the mix. Now your cookie dough has to refrigerate for a little while or overnight. Here's a great make ahead for you. And then you can proceed with scooping and rolling and we'll do that in just a second. Once your cookie dough has been refrigerated, it's so much easier to work with. And use a spring-loaded scoop and then just scoop it right into your hands to make each one into a perfectly round shape. And then we're gonna toss each one in granulated sugar. And this texture is something you are gonna love. Space them out on the baking tray and get them ready to bake. Now my first tray is off to a 350 degree oven to bake for 12 to 14 minutes. Hot cookie is coming through and a hot baker too. That thing goes there. Festive and fun, needs more wedding cake flavor, doesn't it? Okay, I was patient. They've cooled completely and now let's make them even better by adding a delicious wedding cake buttercream and you know what's in it, don't you? Almond extract. 
gives such a good flavor and these sandwich cookies are so fun and festive. You could stop right here after baking the cookies, but why do that? I've got a nice star tip in the piping bag and I'm just gonna start in the center of each and pipe into a nice circle until we get close to the edge of the cookie. And stop. Take a cookie of equal size and sandwich it together like that. Don't you want that cookie? I bet you do. The sandwich cookies are assembled. They look beautiful. And now I'm gonna get this plate ready for the party. You know I'm setting one of those to the side for me so I can have one right now. But you will find the recipe for these wedding cake sandwich cookies in the description of the video. And you'll also find links so that you can get to our private Facebook group where all of my baking friends post photos and videos of what they've been making. And it's such a good time in that group. And then there's also a link so that you could sign up for live baking classes with me. I teach a class most Monday nights with William Sonoma and it's always a lot of fun in baking school. Now, it's time to enjoy. But before I do that, you need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and get ready for more baking fun that's headed your way. I wish everyone a happy pride or any reason that you need to celebrate and feel loved. That is why I created this recipe so that we're having good times all the time. Now it's your turn, everybody. Preheat your ovens, it's time to bake. I'll see you next time.